What's up guys, Shlomo Levenger here, and I have a really awesome announcement for everyone. I'm starting a brand new segment on my YouTube channel where I actually sit down with a guest and teach them a magic trick. No, I did not misspeak. I teach them a magic trick, and you at home can also follow along. I'm so excited to share this with you guys, and I hope you guys are ready. All right guys, so we're here with DJ Matt Dub. We're about to teach a magic trick. This is okay, the first is the episode teacher. of the teaching segment. Of All my right, channel. I'm here. I'm ready to. I'm ready stuff. to learn. So here's what we'll do. I'll first show. I'll do the trick, and then we'll learn it, and then uh, you guys can all do it at home. So go ahead, right. pick any card you want. Don't show me. Good. You can show the camera if you want to. That'll be fine. Good. Show. Nice. Yeah, just put it right there. And uh, I didn't see it, and we'll just put the rest of the cards on top. It's somewhere in the middle of the deck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you want, you can actually just cut the deck wherever you want. Sweet, and we'll just put the rest of the cards on top. Nice, good, so there's no, even if I know where you put it back, now you cut the deck, yeah. so uh, there's no way I can know. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look through the cards, yeah? And I'm gonna try to figure out which card yours is based off of just uh, of just feeling your pulse. Okay, so I'm gonna try to feel your pulse, and then you're just gonna try to keep a straight face, and I'm, not, I'm gonna be able to try to figure out uh, which one your card was. So let me just feel. Okay, one second. Is my pulse good? Because I just it's solid. it, it should be okay. It's No, it is solid, it's solid. Okay. Yeah, let me just feel again. Okay. Second. Here, I'm gonna... Here, actually, you take the cards. You take the cards. You spread through them, I'm gonna feel your pulse. Go ahead. Wait, go back for a second. Start again. Wait, stop. I think it speeds up right here. Right about, um... I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with this card right here. Is that the card? There it is. There it is. You guys want to learn that? We're about to learn that right now. You ready for uh, this? Here's, here's how the trick works. Basically, very simple. It's all acting besides for the actual trick part. So, right. I ask you to take out a card, you right. take one out. Now, well, while he looks at the obviously. card, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I actually just take a peek at the bottom card. Okay, so I'm looking at this card. Right. You look at that card. You show it to the camera. Right. So, in this case, it would be uh, two of clubs. Nice. And I'm looking at the bottom card. That's the ace of clubs. Right. Okay, so sweet. So, now all I do is I tell you to put it here, which is basically the right. top. So, you know the next one. Got it. And the Ace of Clubs goes right on top of it. And even if you cut the deck, no matter how many times that, you cut people it, people can learn. People can do that's that. Super that's super easy, right? That's easy, yeah. Now when you cut the deck, now all I have to do is say, okay, you I'm going to feel your pulse, right. and Obviously I know which one it is you because it is. let me the just show this to them. So in this case, the bottom card was the Ace of Clubs. So let me. I, all I do is I look for the Ace of Clubs, and here we go. Look, you see that the card, the right, there's the Ace of Clubs. You see that the card right next to it, to the right of it actually, right, is the Two of Clubs. Because if this was previously on the bottom, that means that was previously on the top. That's the card. You can play around with it, do whatever you want. You can smell the cards, lick the cards, however you want to find the cards. Right, that's so up you to you. Card, you the... Uh, but once you know the card, that's the Good trick. Stuff. All Good right, stuff. guys. That's the uh, that's teaching a trick with Matt Dub. Go yeah. check out his stuff. I'm gonna put all his links in the description. Uh, oh, all man. your socials: Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Thank whatever you. you have. It's all in the description. Click on it, follow him. Uh, check out all his music. Uh, it's all there. right, guys. So here's another awesome application for this trick. Uh, this is actually my favorite application. So what you'll do is you'll have them pick a card. In this case, we'll just use the nine of clubs. Um, and I already know that the five of clubs on, is on the bottom. Now, a very important thing is that, is that you should always make sure you look at the bottom card before the trick even starts, before you even come over to the person that you're doing the trick on. Uh, that way, uh, it doesn't look shady when you try looking at the bottom card. Um, so in this case, it's the five of clubs. So I'd have them pick the card, they put it back on top, they cut the cards. You can cut the cards as many times as you want. It will not change the fact that those two cards are next to each other. That's very important. Uh, and if you cut them exactly in the same spot, it's just going to go back on top and back on the bottom. So what you're going to do at this point is actually just going to spread the cards out on the table. Uh, and I know that the bottom card was the five of clubs. And obviously, boom, it's right there. Uh, the nine of clubs is right next to it, which was his card. And now I actually know what his card was. I don't tell him that, obviously. Um, but what I do is I tell him to actually uh, just stick out his hand. So I tell you, just extend out your hand straight. Perfect. And now I'm gonna run over the cards like this. When your hand goes over your card, just think stop. So I'm gonna say it's around here. So at this point I just remove all of these cards. Those are out of the way. We don't wanna worry about those anymore. Then I tell them to actually just extend out one finger. So extend that one finger, perfect. And I just go over the cards like this. Again, think stop when I go over your card. Try not to give anything away. And then you just put the finger all the way down and just push the card forward. And then, boom, that's their card. 
uh, and then you get the reaction that you're looking for. So that's my, uh, one of my favorite applications for this trick. Play around with it, see what you can come up with, uh, different creative ways how to find a card. Uh, but that's called a key card, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. Uh, if you liked that video, obviously hit the like button right now. Uh, and also hit that subscribe button, that red button, red button down below. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, previous video is going to be right over here. Uh, you can also subscribe right here. So you can click right here to subscribe if you don't like that red button. Got that too. Um, if you like this type of segment, let me know in the comments down below. I want to hear. I read everything. Um, and also, I need a name for this segment. So if you have a really cool creative name, leave it down below and maybe I'll pick yours to name the segment. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.